Hi guys, welcome back to the Cypress series. In today's video, we will see how we can automate a registration flow. So we have this demo website, uh, which is this one. And we have a registration form in which we have different text boxes like first name, last name, email, phone number and password. And we can also see we have a checkbox and a radio button. So this is a radio button and we have checkbox and normal button also. So we will automate the scenario in which we will first of all enter uh, the value in the text box. Then we will select a radio button. Then we will select a checkbox and click on continue. Right. So this is the flow which uh, we will automate. So first of all, let me just copy the URL and uh, go to the code. So I will just write cy dot cy dot visit for opening this URL. Fine. And then the next step is, so we have to pass input to the text box. So in order to pass input, I will write the locator. So let's find the locator for this first name. So I'll just do right click and inspect the element. So let's inspect the element for this one. So this is in over here. We can see this is an ID. So ID is input first name. So I'll go back to my case and Let's write locator for this. So I, for ID, we use hash. So hash ID value. And we have to enter text. So we will be using dot type command by Cypress. So this is my first name. Uh, I will write, let's say I'm entering Anshita. Fine. Next is you have to enter text in your last name. So let's copy the locator for last name from here. So this is my last name. And last name locator is input last name. So let's go over here and enter the text. Again, we are passing hash over here because of the ID and then type. So I'll pass QA. Fine. So what I'll do, we have to perform multiple actions on the page. So we have multiple text boxes. So email, telephone, password, and confirm password. So four more, four more text boxes. So I will just copy the code because and we'll change the locator, right? So yeah, so let's copy the email locator for email. So the email locator is it's input email. So guys, you can uh, watch my previous video where we can you can see how we can find the locators. So in case you do not know how to find the locator, so I've created a, a dedicated video for this. So you can go and watch that. So for this one, let's enter the locator for email. And in the email, you can pass the value. So whatever value you want to pass, let's say abc at disposable.com. So you can pass a valid email ID over here. So for testing purpose, I'm using some uh, random email ID, right? Next one is your telephone text box. So this is my telephone text box. So the locator is input telephone. So you can see, right? Uh, so you can again validate also over here because this is just an ID. So I know it is going to work. I'm copying the ID, but in case you want to validate on the page, if your locator is correct or not. So what you can do, just write hash and then the value. So you see it is getting highlighted. That means your locator is uh, correct. Fine. So let's go back to the code and enter the locator for telephone and enter the value for telephone. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? The next one is password. So we will find locator for password now. So this is input password. So I'll change input password, right? And in type, you can pass the password. So I'm passing for now Cypress one, two, three exclamation next one is your password confirm so again the we can find the locator so i guess it's it's uh because all these locators all these elements have uh, id as a locator so this is uh, very easy for us but in case we do not have id or we do not have a fixed class you can find the locators you can uh, you can check the attribute over there or you can use some Cypress commands as well. Let's say based on some fixed uh, locator over here, element over here, you can find, let's say on first element, you have to click on second or in case last element, you can check that also, right? 
but we will be using id as we have ids available over here so it's easy for us so this is my input locator for confirm password and i will pass the same password because this is the same text which we have to pass right now this is done we are done with the text boxes the next thing is the radio button so for this radio button what we'll do so we will select the locator from here so we can see this is type radio this is a radio button and in cypress if you have to handle radio button or check boxes so we use cypress inbuilt command which is dot check uh, we we just have to pass a locator and then use that command so first of all we will see if our locator is fine so i will just copy here in the search box and verify if the locator is working fine we can see there are three results for this so let's see if we want to select the subscribe yes and this is at uh, which position so over here we can see this is at second position right so in this case what i'll do i'll use the cypress inbuilt command eq we saw in one of the previous videos if we have uh, different results for uh, our locator we can also choose the index whatever we want to select so over here we want to select the second result that means our index would be one because the index starts with zero so whatever position you want to select you have to choose the index for that right and the index starts with zero so if your if your location if your result is second so in that case the index would be one fine so i'll go to my code and we'll see we'll uh, write the code for this one so cy dot get this is my locator fine and we will use dot eq one because we have to se select the second result and using dot check we will select our radio button right the next one is on the page we have to select the checkbox which is this one so this is my checkbox and if i see this is type checkbox and same it is the similar uh, what we did for radio button we we can copy the locator from here and then using dot check we will select our checkbox so let's go back to the code so cy dot get and the locator which is this one but and over here we can we need to pass a html tag as well so input is my html tag over here we will directly use dot check so in the last step we use dot eq because we had three results for the and but uh, in case of checkbox we can see on the page so this is my result for let me copy over here in the search box so this is my result for checkbox we can see in the search screen in below in the dom we have only one out of one so that means only one locator with this value uh, but if you have more than one locator you can use dot first or dot last or whatever or dot eq using cypress inbuilt commands you can select that particular you know uh, result or location whatever you want to select so in checkbox we had only one so we are directly using dot check so don't get confused like uh, dot check if, if we are using dot check with eq no it depends on scenario to scenario if you have to select some specific location then you have to use all these commands otherwise dot check you can use directly right the next the last step would be to click on the continue button so for for that what i'll do i'll just write the template cy dot get and my locator and we'll see the locator for the continue button so let's find the locator for continue button so this is type submit and we can see we have class over here so let's copy the class and let's find if the locator is fine so for class we use dot and as we have multiple locators uh, you can see over here in the below search box so i'll remove space and enter dot so for multiple classes we uh, we learned in one of the previous video we have to remove spaces and enter dot right so let's copy here and as this is a button we have to perform click action i will use dot click so dot click is an internal command by cypress so by using all the steps what we are doing first of all we are entering the values in the text box then we are checking our radio button then we are checking our checkbox and then we are clicking on the 
button this continue button right so let's see uh, what i'll do i'll just change the email id over here so let me pass some um, uh, other email id because i used it earlier so it might not work so abc dot one two three okay let's run our test case let me open the terminal and enter the command so it's npx cypress open and let's run the test case so my test case name is register flow so let me maximize it so you can see on the page on the left side you can see all your commands which are executed on the page so let's say get first name or last name and on the right side we can see it is showing us the highlighted text box also wherever it is entering our value so you can see in cypress directly whatever actions let's say on whatever step you want to see it's very easy and very helpful also in case of debugging if you want to see so on left i can see I've selected dot type and on the right side it is highlighting that section whatever action I have chosen right so in the end we saw it is uh, our test case got passed and uh, after clicking it took us to the different page so whenever you perform this registration flow or this kind of flow so we also need to perform assertion so over here also we can perform assertion we can verify if we are getting this text on the page or not right okay. So this is uh, how you can do end-to-end -end automation of registration flow. So if we have, if you have a form where you have to enter text or you have to click on submit button or you have to choose a radio button or a checkbox. So you can use all the inbuilt Cypress commands and perform the action. So I hope uh, you understand the concept. So this is uh, the video basically for registration flow, how you can test end-to-end -end registration flow and assert also in the end. If it is you are getting the expected text or not on the page fine so i hope uh, you like the video thanks and please like and subscribe to the channel